Hey, it's Eric from Brain and Body Health. Today, I want to talk to you about what to do if you've got BPPV, which is a condition that causes reasonably intense vertigo. Now, if you've been diagnosed with this before uh, and you can't get to someone to do the Epley Maneuver, this is how to do the Epley Maneuver at home as effectively as possible and try and give yourself some relief from the vertigo. Uh, but vertigo is a common sign for a few other conditions. So if you do this Epley Maneuver and you feel some relief, fantastic. It was BPPV, you don't have to worry. If you do the Epley Maneuver and it's not really working for you, Give me a call, 9817-6611 or info at brainandbodyhealth.com.au or go to hospital. Um, but if you've got BPPV and you've had it before, you probably know which ear is the problematic one. Um, if you don't, the way to figure it out is if you're lying on your left hand side and you're rolling over to your right hand side and that brings on the vertigo, it's your right ear that's got the loose crystals that we need to correct. Or vice versa, if you're lying on your right and roll to your left, that brings it on, it's your left ear. So I'm gonna talk you through as if it was a right ear issue. So what you need to do is sit close to the edge of a table or your mattress, and what you need to do is turn your head to the right 45 degrees, tuck your chin a little bit. Now, as you lay back, if you lay back quickly, you're going to bring on the vertigo suddenly and intensely. So if you've got any nausea, go easy. So the slower that you lie down, the slower the vertigo is going to creep in, which may make it a little bit easier for you to ride the storm. So you need to have your head hanging off the edge of the bed. So your chin needs to be higher than your eyebrows. Wait 10 to 20 seconds. You may feel the vertigo start to kick in. It'll crescendo and get pretty bad. Don't panic, wait it out. It'll start to subside. Once the vertigo is gone and you can no longer feel like the room is spinning anymore, you need to wait 30 seconds before moving to position number two. Now, really important, and this is something that a lot of people miss, when you're moving your head from to the right over to the left, you need to keep your chin as the highest point. Don't lift your head up to turn it to the other side and then drop it back down you're gonna roll the crystals the wrong way. So position two generally isn't too bad. Uh, it's positions one and three that people feel the most vertigo. So in this position, same again, wait 20 seconds. You may feel the, uh, the vertigo start to kick in. As it does, it's gonna crescendo. Don't panic, don't move, wait it out. It'll start to subside. Once it's stopped, 30 seconds before moving on to position three. So with this next, move again really really important don't move your head at all while you're rolling onto your shoulder so you need to roll onto your left shoulder in this case all the time keeping your hip head as still as possible once you're on your side you then need to turn your head down to the floor while tucking your chin a little bit this is going to be the worst position so again it's going to be really intense ride it out don't panic it's just crystals running around your ears it starts to kick in, it's going to crescendo, wait 30 seconds after it stops before starting to push your way up. Now, at any stage, if you're doing your right ear and you feel like you're getting nauseous and you're going to throw up, try to roll over to your left to throw up. Um, so if we're trying to clear out your right ear, roll to the left to throw up, don't roll back the other way because you've just undone all of the good that you, you were trying to do. Um, but again, if you are prone to nausea with uh, the BPPB, the slower you move through these positions, the less likely you are to trigger off enough nausea to cause vomiting. So the next step, again, really important, keep your nose pointed towards the ground as you sit up. So the way that you do it is you swing your legs off the side of the table and then gradually push your way up, keeping your head turned towards the ground. As you get higher and higher, uh, you can start to bring your head back to the middle. Now, it's not uncommon for people to get some rebound nystagmus or some vertigo in this position. So wait 20 seconds. Um, if you've got someone there with you, just get them to hold onto your shoulders because while you're upright, if you get vertigo, you may feel like you're gonna fall. So it's always nice to have someone holding onto your shoulders or supporting your neck when you're going through the first three stages. So that's how to do this maneuver at home as effectively as possible to clear out the crystals. Now. If you don't get too much nausea with this, you can run through this process three or four times. Uh, you should feel that each time you do it, you're getting less vertigo every time you do it, um, which means that you're clearing out the crystals, which is great. 
If you're finding it's not working, again, you give me a call, go to hospital or send me an email and we'll try and figure out what's going on. Uh, but it's really important that for the night of the Epley and probably two nights after that, you need to sleep as upright as possible. So if you've got BPPV in your right ear, you can't sleep with your right side down. It has to be left side down if you are gonna lie on your side. Um, ideally, you wanna sleep in a recliner where you're propped up, um, or if you're gonna lie on your bed, pillow under your chest, two, three pillows under your head so that you're kind of wedged forward, but make sure you're either on your back or on your left, you're not on the side of the BPPV. You need to do that for a couple of nights and then you can start to transition back to sleeping normally. Now, pretty normal after doing the Epley maneuver to still feel a little bit off, your balance is gonna be quite right. Totally normal, your brain's just trying to recalibrate to what the hell's going on. It thinks that you've just been on a roller coaster for four hours. Don't worry about it, the balance will start to come back. Um, but again, if you're finding the vertigo is not behaving, give me a call, 9817-6611 or send me an email, info at brainandbodyhealth.com.au there are a few other types of BPPV that are a little bit harder to fix and you might need to come in to do it or go to hospital. Um, I hope that helps. I hope this gives you some relief uh, and that gets rid of your better go.